Hello, I'm Phil Svitek, 360 Creative Coach. And in this episode, I wanna pose a challenge to you, and that's to revisit past works. And before I fully get into what I mean by this and how to do it, I wanna take the opportunity to invite you to subscribe if you haven't already, that way you get all the various lessons and episodes that I put out right when I put them out. Thank you if you just did, and thank you if you already were. It really means a lot to me, and I hope it does to you. So let's talk about this, right? If you're someone like me, uh, you thrive on knowledge. You just constantly want more and more and more knowledge. You know, you like learning, uh, and not just for the sake of learning, but because you can apply it to your life, it enhances it, um, you're able to create better art, and so forth. But, you know, the thing of it is, this, this can be slightly debilitating at times if, if unchecked, because, you know, in the pursuit of new, um, you know, sometimes we're apt to forget certain things. And, you know, part of it is, there, there's a beauty in revisiting stuff because we, of course, view it from a new perspective. Like, the beauty of it is, like, if we read a great novel, let's say, you know, we can revisit that novel 10 years from now and see it from a completely different perspective because we're reading it from, you know, now a different age, a different point in time within the world and so forth. And, and we've gained new knowledge. And so we're able to see things that we, we weren't at an earlier age. And this is a beautiful thing because, you know, it allows you, like, you would think that, oh, okay, if I'm really reading something, then it's like, what am I getting out of it? And it's like, no, that's, that, you can actually get out a lot uh, from past works. And in some sense, it's a good barometer to see how much your perspective and your life has changed when you're like, oh, wow, I totally didn't see that the first time, and this is beautiful, and this, and yada, yada, yada. It's a very powerful exercise. And, you know, I, I think sometimes we kind of look down upon that of like, oh, you're, you know, like, for example, if someone re reads Lord of the Rings every single year, it's like, oh, you're read, reading that book again? It's like, yeah, because it brings them joy, and they're able to see something different in it. Uh, and even just the act of the joy itself, it's like, why are we discrediting that? But even with like your own stuff, right? Let's say it's like your journal. Revisit your journal because that's a great way to learn about yourself and be like, wow, you know, look at how much I've changed. Look, look how I was looking at the world and, you know, how I shifted and so forth. So whether it's your own work, whether it's other people's work, there's a true benefit that we underestimate and undervalue and underappreciate that really has meaning for us. So, you know, life, in, in the words of uh, Ferris Bueller, life moves pretty fast. And, you know, it's it's worthwhile to take that moment to well, to just revisit past stuff and and see how much it can act and, and, and appreciate how much it can affect you, even though it's something that you know. You know, The Matrix, for all intents and purposes, is a movie that I've seen so many times, I can't even count. Yeah, every time I do, uh, I, I can go even deeper into the rabbit hole. And that's a beautiful thing because I've changed and how I view it has therefore changed. So that's my challenge to you is to really kind of take a moment and think about, you know, some stuff that you want to revisit. You know, fiction books, nonfiction books, movies, poetry, songs, um, uh, certainly your own work, right? It can be journals, it could be your... Yeah. It could be a movie that you made. It could be a painting that you made. You can really look at it. Whatever it may be. You know, this is why yearbooks are also, like, powerful. Is We like to, you know, or albums even. You know, I, I, I would put this into that category of really, you know, all in all, it's a moment to be able to reflect, right? That's, that's the ultimate purpose of this is to kind of pump the brakes a little bit on life and to be able to kind of reflect and appreciate the things and, and appreciate ourselves, really. That's, that's the crux of all of this. So that's my challenge to you. I hope you take it to heart and uh, see what comes of it, you know? And to that effect, you know, let me know in the comment section wh what are things that you're, you're going to revisit. You don't have to be specific if you don't want to, but, you know, is it a, you know, you can be, you can be as broad as a book um, if you want to, you know, be that way or be specific of what it actually is if, if you are okay with that. I would love to see it. I would love to see that list. I really would. And, um, it would inspire me and hopefully inspire others to see as well. Anyway, that's what I have for you. Um, I appreciate you taking the time to tune in. 
If you think this would benefit someone in your life, by all means, please share it with them. I certainly would appreciate it. And I appreciate you and I'll see you next time.